baby face You got the cutest little baby face There ain't nobody can ever take your place Oh, hey, baby face My poor heart jumping Oh, you started something Hello, I'm Sandy Scheller with the South Bay Historical Society and the Chula Vista Heritage Museum. I'm in the office with Dr. Rulon in Chula Vista at the Dermatology Institute. Is it hot enough for you? The reason we're here is because we're gonna to talk to Dr. Rulon about important things that the sun can do. Without further ado, Dr. Rulon, yeah. where are you from? Well, Thank you for inviting me, Sandy. Sure. It's a pleasure to talk to the society and to make a little history ourselves here today. Um, I was, I'm, I'm from Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico. Uh -huh. uh, the son of a Polish-Ukrainian nurse from Bellevue. Really? And, uh, and a, a surgeon that, tra that trained at Bellevue at NYU. He was the head and neck surgeon. Mm -hmm. And then his ancestry is from Mallorca, and hers is from, obviously, New York and Poland. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I was born and raised in Puerto Rico, surfing, swimming, getting my, uh, in a swimming team. Oh, I can feel it now. So I had a, <laughs> a red nose most of my childhood. Uh, I, put, I put on zinc, zinc oxide, and that's all I, it would last five minutes, and it was gone. <clears throat> And then between that and surfing, I got a lot of sun damage growing up in Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. And then came to went to study in Chicago, but that convinced me to go back to the warm weathers, and I came to California. Wow. <laughs> so your degree, board certified, dermatology, I, I call you skin expertology, if I can say that word. Um, as you know, I was a professional mime and I had this heavy, thick makeup on every single day, and that just got into my pores. And when I retired, I decided that I gotta do something about my skin. I will tell you that Dr. Rulon was Ruthie's doctor, and very, very sensitive to my mom, to my father, and what we notice is that as we get older, there are things that happen. You could have sunspots, brown spots, and you shouldn't be afraid to come to the dermatologist. It's something that's really important. Um, not to talk about my family, but I'm going to. Um, my husband had a spot on his nose and it was cancerous. Dr. Rulon was able to take care of him and when people look at him, they say, where's the scar? This is the first time that I've ever seen somebody do a surgery and you cannot see the scar. So congratulations on that. Um, today, I'm not wearing any makeup because what I did is I treated myself to having a layer taken off my skin. And the reason for that was that all that stuff that I did to my skin for 20, well, for 40 years, I finally can feel like I'm breathing. I have a question. Why did you choose Chula Vista? What's the reason? Well, <clears throat> I didn't choose Chula Vista. Chula Vista chose Chula me. Chula Vista chose you. Okay. Uh, I did my residency at UC Irvine. But let me start. <clears throat> it was a pleasure and honor to be treating Mr. and Mrs. Sachs. I mean, they were the loveliest people. I I, I wish I could keep on hugging them like, as sure. you would. Sure. Sure. They're an inspiration to all of us, so it was a real an honor. Uh, and thank you for keeping their, her memory going. Oh, of course. And their experiences. Of course. Um, so a, a doctor from the Navy met me in Santa Barbara. I was giving a lecture. Mm -hmm. And he said, uh, well, I think your dad was my professor. Really? So he put the names together. Mm -hmm. And he said, uh, I'd like you to come to Chula Vista and work with me. So... I started, I came down to Chula Vista not knowing what, what Chula Vista was. Why, why, why would I know what Chula Vista was? And, uh, and fell in love with it immediately. Mm -hmm. The nicest town in the whole world. I, I love Chula Vista. Well, you're in the sun a lot, like my husband, because of golfing. And mm -hmm. when you look at people that are out there and they're not protecting their skin, it won't 
take effect today, but down the road, it can take an effect. Um, one thing I noticed, and one of the reasons for being here, is that during COVID-19, we are smashing our faces with masks. And one of the things that I learned was getting something simple enough that at least you have room yes. and your skin can breathe. But the big question is, what do we do to protect our skin from UV? Well, <clears throat> ultraviolet radiation is cumulative, so it builds up over your, your lifetime. Mm -hmm. So sunburns in your childhood affect you in your 40s and 50s and 60s. <clears throat> so there's no real uh, uh, forgiveness for the sense of youth when it comes to sun damage. Mm -hmm. Those mutations build up and, it, and your body has to repair it or not. If you have a good repairing system with antioxidants and a good genetic system, you can repair those mutations. Okay. But if you have a poor system and, a ba and, a, and you're, fit, you're, you're ill yourself, uh, steroids, diabetes, the same things that lead to complications like in, with COVID, mm -hmm. with a bad immune system, uh, you don't repair these things. So these, these mutations turn into cancers. So you need protection from ongoing, but also you need to repair the past. Mm -hmm. And there are treatments that repair the past, so when you actually wear a sunscreen, you're putting sunscreen on, on baby skin. Right. That's one reason to do peels, to do something called photodynamic therapy, a blue light treatment. Mm -hmm. There are things that help you erase the past, so you can start anew. Right. And protection includes, uh, obviously, hats like you have, this particular hat's interesting. Very simple Amazon hat. Yeah. Not sold here. And guess what? It um, has a UV protection. It actually is like UV protection. What I did is I went online. I wanted something light. And I looked at Fisherman's hat. And it might look goofy, but the bottom line is I'm going to be around. And for things like kayaking, for things like golfing, I mean, I, I want to enjoy my life. I don't want to have a short life or know that skin damage or a melanoma or something happened. One, one of my favorite people was Bob Marley. Bob Marley oh, died oh, of, yeah. of skin cancer. Sorry, yeah. And, um, you know, if we doing this, which goes out on YouTube and through the Chula Vista libraries and stuff, if we can help one person with their skin, then I feel like I did something right. That's when I hear my mother saying, do something. There are like six or seven components to good sun protection. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the first one is obviously clothing. Okay. Physical, like a hat. Your, your husband and I both wear the same big wear hat. Wear the same hat. Mm -hmm. uh, sunglasses so you don't get it in your eyes. Okay. You can get melanomas in your eyes. Wow. Cancers along the eyelid margin. I mean, they're difficult. So protect a, a wide rim hat, sunglasses that are white sunglasses. Uh, uh, sunscreen lotions like uh, for example this one is a is a zinc oxide sunblock you can see this when you put it on your skin you can see it's tinted so it's good for the face for ladies wow and it, and it blends in completely see so you this don't a, have a powerful to sunscreen that just goes into your skin try it this is it amazing. Disappear, it disappears instantly. And it's a 50 sunblock with tint. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> there's another one, uh, a little And thicker. it feels good. It actually feels good. And it feels good. No, it's a, it's a best seller that we have here. Wow. We have one called Neova, which is uh, has DNA repair cap cap capabilities. So you put it on as a sunscreen. Like this. And, and even as we're putting it on our hands, as yeah. I got older, I had sunspots. Oh, now, yeah, sunspots. you were kind enough to remove my sunspots, but I did have what was called aging spots. So a sunscreen that also repairs your DNA from prior damage. That same night, let's say you were you were playing golf or swimming, you can use a DNA repair lotion from the same company, Neova. 
Mm -hmm. So DNA repair lotion. So let's say I, I got sunburn. I, I played yesterday golf. Right. If somebody well, went to the beach and they overdid it. I want to repair my DNA damage. Obviously, taking vitamin C and anti other antioxidants works, but so does the lotion. It goes right on the sun damage area. So you can actually repair, prevent, and repair sun damage. Right. The the, the and the older we get, it's harder because of all the past damage that we had. Yes. Yet, if somebody is young and watching this, they need to think about their skin and not forget their skin. If they don't want the white when they go to the beach, well, there's well, your yeah. answer right well, yeah. there. It's a There's sun nothing. skin with a 50. It's 50. Yeah, it's wonderful. Oh, that's wonderful. amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. So then the, the, the last one is a pill, which I told your husband to get. I'm mm -hmm. not sure he did. It's called Helio Care for sun care. It's a, it's a polydonium is a vitamin that comes from South America. Mm -hmm. It's a natural organic uh, vitamin. And you take it as a super antioxidant. So you don't sunburn when you take two pills for those four hours. Right. So every time I go play golf, I take those two pills is and there, I feel much more protected. Is there a problem if somebody, when they get older, if they take certain drugs, would there be oh. a reaction with, let's say, if somebody had a drug for their heart and then oh. they took this drug? No, Are, not this drug. This drug protects you. This drug protects you. But those those medications can make you sunburn more easily. Yes. So yeah, this this makes. This is something sense. that you can take with that. Okay. Yeah. So people shouldn't be afraid no, to to do that. No. Wow. <laughs> so what are the first signs of skin cancer? Okay. Or this is what I was going to ask you. What happens yeah. <laughs> when somebody wakes up one day and they notice that there's a spot that they didn't have before? Or they thought it was just a pimple. Take it away. <laughs> well, the first few signs are going to be sometimes age spots. Age spots, or okay. Or sunspots on your arms or your face, like these freckles on your face sometimes. Mm -hmm. Larger. Uh, that's a sign of sun damage. We don't think of freckles as angel kisses, like fathers tell the daughters. Yes. <laughs> we, we think it as very early sun damage. Sure. They're not angel kisses. Uh, that girl should be putting sunscreen on immediately if he's getting freckles. Right. Oh boy. Uh, so that so brown spots are early sun damage signs. Uh, Pre-cancer is extremely common. We do that's the most common diagnosis in, in dermatology. Mm -hmm. Are crusty lesions that occur on your nose or ears, top of the ears. So don't forget you you want to put on two layers of this when you put it on. One, rub it in, and a second layer. Wow. Because especially it, it feels the top really of the good ears, too. well, you don't get it. Two layers. Of, every study for sunscreen, the SPF 50, is based on two applications. Two. Okay. Wow. No one talks about the two layers. Right. People just put on one <laughs> layer and that's it. But it should so be the, two the, layers. The ears, behind the ears, behind the the, the the sideburn, the face, the nose, temples, out into my forehead. Because I'm already I was hat on already. Right. And then of course my arms, my inner arms, uh, my If my you're legs, wearing shorts, make sure legs. to do your legs. Yes. And do it in the morning. Do the first thing after you put your shorts on. Put it right on. But otherwise, you won't do it. In the You'll golf. forget it. You won't right. do it in the golf club. Mm -hmm. You want to hit the ball when you get there. Right. So. And that's what Mark does. Actually, he puts it on so that there's time for it to absorb. That's and then good. sometimes he'll put the second layer on when he's there. Yes, he does do that. He's, he's a wonderful Well, fellow. he listens to you. He's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> then the, so then the, 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 the actinic keratosis or crusty lesions are the first signs. And you can have from 1 to 50. It could be on your scalp. That's why a hat is important. Right. Like, you know, so crusty things that you pick off, and they're a little sharper. They're different than barnacles. Barnacles tend to be wider. You can almost pick them off, and nothing much happens. But these precancers are sharper. You pick them off, and they start bleeding right away. Wow. So they have, they're, they're in the skin. And you can get them on top of your head? Yeah, if somebody doesn't have hair, yeah. but if oh, you've yeah. got hair, then chances are you'll be okay? Yes. Okay. Yeah, thick hair is good. <laughs> so then... Thanks, Mom. <laughs> th those pre-cancers can turn into squamous cell carcinomas. 
which are more aggressive, they require surgery most of the time, and then there's a bigger version of it, the thicker. You, you move it and the, there's a thickness to it. Mm -hmm. uh, it can happen in your lip, the ears, the temples are very dangerous, the lips are dangerous. And the nose. The nose is dangerous, so we, we have to do most surgery on a lot of, a lot of those skin cancers. That's, the, that's that type, the precancer turning into a squamous cell. The basal cell carcinoma begins as a painless sore or a little bump. Don't even notice like, it. Like I, had, I had one over here that was uh, painless. I just like, I said, is that a pimple? A little bump. And I kept touching it, and after like two weeks, it actually seeped a little bit. Wow. And, I, and I told my partner, I said, is that a skin cancer? And he says, that's just nothing. Because it was just a bump. Right. But I said, please biopsy it. And it was a skin cancer. A very early basal cell carcinoma. And the goal is to catch these as early yes. as possible. Please, You, you please. just want to get them. You're doing yourself a favor. You're doing the doctor a favor. And it's something that you owe yourself. Because this can spread. It can get... I mean, imagine that you've got cancer in your lung, if I'm not mistaken, and it was from a skin cancer. That's right. Mm -hmm. Well, it can spread. It can spread from the face to your lymph nodes, and from there it can spread. But, uh, so basal cell carcinoma is the most common type of skin cancer or cancer in the world. It's like a million cases a year in the U.S. only. Wow. And, uh, and we're always operating basal cell carcinoma. They're, they're little sores. They bleed a little bit, the little bumps. We just did a Mohs on Monday of a young gal in a wheelchair who had one this big, okay, that big, on his scalp. Wow. <laughs> anyway. Wow. So we do a lot of that. Uh, but it's, there's a precursor lesion that grows into a large ulcerating one. Mm -hmm. So they call it a rodent ulcer. And it, 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 it really kills you unless it's growing over an artery. Mm -hmm. uh, the third one is a melanoma. And melanomas begin like a f darker freckle, but it's a two-tone freckle. Okay. It's a smooth, flat freckle. It's not the birthmark you were born with. It uh, just shows up. It shows up like a freckle. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't there last night. Let's say I had a spot here, and my daughter biopsied it right away. So it was a brand new, I'm 67, I shouldn't be having brand new uh, freckles on my, on my body. Sure. Uh, so basically it's a freckle that turns two-toned and we have microscopes you put on your skin to see what kind of two tones you have in there, the pigment pattern before doing a biopsy. And you do the testing here too. Yes. Right. So if God forbid somebody's going to be operated on, it's not like, okay, you send it out and then you, you do the testing while they're still in surgery, correct? Yes. So that it's cost effective, time effective and you start healing a lot better because you know how far down you have to go when you're removing the cells. That's called margin. We're checking margins. For margins. Margins. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and all the studies have shown that most surgery is the most cost effective, least damaging to the, to the body. Mm -hmm. so, wow. So we, but please catch it early. You know, notice things that are unusual. If you're married, notice on your back. Someone, your husband's back or your wife's back. Mm -hmm. If you have a family history of it, then you have to be earlier uh, visiting a dermatologist and uh, just catch it earlier. It's so easy. I mean, it's not easy, but it's, it's better for you to catch it early. You're doing yourself a favor that you're checking each other out for people that are married. Um, if you see something, say something. I mean, I know that if I was golfing or doing something mm -hmm. and somebody had a spot after what Mark went through, um, even to this day, I make it a point to, Mark, I really want to make sure that you're okay because sometimes your eyes are better than what's in a mirror, that somebody else can see it. Am I correct? Oh, it, it's the most, most melanomas are diagnosed by the family member. By a family member, right. Uh, there's two types of melanomas. There's one is sun-related, like a larger freckle that, that changes. Others are genetic, almost. Mm -hmm. uh, that's called dysplastic nevus syndrome. Mm -hmm. Somebody has 50 to 100 moles on their body. Right, right, I've seen it, yep. And those people really have to be checked every three months, every six months, mm -hmm. full body photography, digital quality, so you can magnify it. 
and we have a camera just for that. Wow. So oh, you've got every toy possible when it comes to skin care, checking out the skin. I mean, mm -hmm. it's 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 pretty incredible. And um, you know, I I just want to thank you for what you did. It it it's great. Every person has their own individual situation when it comes to their lesions on how to be treated. If you're 99 years old and you don't want most surgery, we're not gonna force it on you. Right. We have cream options, we can freeze, we can scrape. I mean, we can do things that are gentler. We can send you for radiation treatment. Uh, everyone has a different situation, so don't be scared of a scar or what we, what we do to you. Yeah, uh, but you're you're options. amazing. I mean, I I've seen them firsthand, and you're you 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 make no scars. I just have to put that out there. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but as you said, every situation is different, and the most important thing is to at least get seen. Yes. Um, the other thing I've learned with my dermatologist: um, keep your hands clean. And it's not just the sanitizers; it's the fact that you do oh, yeah. really washing of your hands. And if you're gonna to touch your face, be careful because you don't wanna dry it out. So you always wanna make sure that you put something on. Am I correct? You're correct. And this could be a lifesaver. We don't know. The fact that your shield, if you get one, like one of those guards and they're smashing up on your face, be careful with that, especially in the heat. Because then what you're gonna notice is you get really red. Am I correct? Yeah. I had that happen to me, so that's why I'm going that's with a, things a little looser. That's a great option, which, what Sandy just bought there. and uh, Maybe two bucks? Yeah. We're seeing people with acne. They're called mask acne mm -hmm. or mask knee. Uh -huh. So mask we have a new knee. term for... A mask knee, yeah. People get breakouts in, under the mask, and there's acne medicines available, but it's uh, it's really happening. Right. And, and, you know, you're doing yourself a favor by going to a professional. A super professional board certified professional not that I want to sell it but we want to see you in the library we want to see you in the exhibit when we open and we want to see you really healthy so with that I say thanks for watching and be safe right ain't nobody can ever take your place are you baby face my poor heart jumping. Ah, you started something, baby face. Well, I'm in heaven when I'm in your, your fun.